will be Zoom webinar. And here we go. Welcome Travel Week readers. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am really stoked to be offering you this amazing webinar that we have planned for today. We've got Haki and Miriam from Turkish Airlines here. And we also have Jimmy back from Agencia Global. It's going to be an amazing and informative webinar. And I can't wait for you all to um, participate today. Uh, there is a great prize associated with this webinar as well, but I'm going to leave Jimmy to explain all the details of the prize giveaway in a minute. But before I do that, I just uh, want to remind you that if you have questions during this webinar or anything that you'd like to say at all, please pop your chat or your question into the Q&A box you see at the bottom of your screen. And then I will be back on at the very end of the webinar to ask questions on your behalf. And uh, with that, I would just like to say again, as you know, Travel Week is here to offer you the very best information to craft amazing holidays and travel product for your clients. And with no further ado, I am excited to pass you over to Jimmy first, who will then pass it over to Turkish Airlines. Jimmy, take it away with the prizing info. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Candice, and good Thank afternoon, you. everyone. Thanks for taking time out of your day to be with us. Uh, as, Candace, as Candace mentioned, and as most of you know, I'm Jimmy Stavropoulos. I'm the Director of Sales over at Agencia Global. I am really happy to be partner, partnered up with our friends at Turkish Airlines for today's presentation. Uh, they'll be going through their uh, presentation shortly, but um, as most of you who have attended prior webinars know, we always like to give away a raffle prize since you take time out of your day to be with us. So for today, we got uh, a little more aggressive than usual. We've got a $500 Amazon gift card up for grabs. Uh, there are a few T's and C's that I'd like to go for uh, go over just to ensure that everyone is eligible. So number one, we ask that you attend this presentation in its entirety, including the Q&A. Number two, we ask that you register for an account on Agencia Global, which is free to use. Um, if you are tuning in as an existing agent, then you can already consider that box checked off. This, uh, this raffle is available to our existing agents as well. And we will be presenting a bonus commission program that will be available for the next month on Turkish Airlines bookings. Uh, and to further incentivize you to book Turkish Airlines on Agencia Global, we've kind of tied it into the raffle price. So between today and October 22nd, we ask that you make at least one booking on Turkish Airlines on Agencia. So again, to recap, attend the webinar in its entirety, register for an account on Agencia Global. If you already have one, you're good to go. And then make at least one Turkish Airlines booking on Agencia between today and October 22nd. If any of you have any questions on anything that I just said, please feel free to ask and we'll address it in the Q&A at the end. Um, so on that note, uh, Hake and uh, Miriam, the floor is yours. Take it away. Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. And uh, firstly, thanks to Travel Week and the Agency Group Global for providing us that uh, opportunity. And uh, good afternoon, everyone. The, my name is Haki Unal. I am Sales and Marketing Manager for Church Airlines based in Montreal. And today we are you know, joining that meeting with my colleague, our marketing representative, Ms. Mariam Rezaiye. And it's our pleasure uh, to talk about Turkish Airlines and our product, which flies more countries than any other airline. Um, I would like to start, you know, uh, my session with our presentation, then we will continue with the question and answers. Uh, with your kind permission, I will share my screen in order to start my uh, presentation. Okay, I'm just going to jump in here quickly. Sorry, uh, perhaps okay. just it's an audio issue on my end, but I don't hear that well. You might want to speak just a little louder. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Now, is it okay? Is yep. it better? Yeah, okay. So, uh, let me let me briefly introduce about, uh, give some information about Turkish Airlines. Uh, Generally, then we will talk about uh, specifically about Canada. What are our operations out of outbound of Canada? Uh, as, as you may know, Turkish Airlines is flying more countries than any other airline in the world. Currently, after COVID, you know, 
uh, our network includes 118 countries and 228 destinations uh, outside of the uh, Turkey, uh, which makes us flying more countries than another other airline. Istanbul is our hub uh, in Turkey. There are two airports in Istanbul, and mainly we are using Istanbul Airport, uh, which we are generally providing our uh, services outside of the country. And we are operating with currently 427 aircraft. Uh, many of them are white body, and uh, almost 25% of 420 aircrafts, 27 aircrafts are the large body. Uh, as you can see, here, you know, uh, Istanbul is a kind of natural hub. It's, it means it is in the middle of everything. Uh, up to three to five hours flight, you can reach over 50 countries. And uh, flying up to three hours uh, makes any passenger reaching, reaching 38 different countries, which brings us uh, a lot of advantage. For example, from Istanbul to Rome, two hours, 25 minutes. From Istanbul to Tehran, three hours, 30 minutes. Uh, from Istanbul to Moscow, three hours, while uh, Beirut is one and a half hour only. Four years before, uh, Istanbul Atatürk Airport was closed for commercial aviation, and we built the Turkish public built new Istanbul Airport, uh, which is the largest airport in the world under one roof. And, uh, we have three different lounges in New Istanbul Airport, uh, and we are awarded with Skytrax that it is the you know, best business class lounge in the world, and it's the best business class catering in the world. Uh, let's talk a little bit about our uh, onboard services, in either in business class or economy class. Uh, there are from Montreal to Istanbul or Canada to Istanbul, uh, two main courses uh, are free for any passenger. Amenity kits are for free for any passenger. Wi-Fi on board uh, is free for business class passenger uh, and very small fee for economy class passengers. And uh, also we have wide selection of in-flight entertainment. We're gonna discuss them further, more. Uh, Today, we want to focus on some of the, our uh, services, which is press reader, exclusive drive, stopover, and the Turkish Airlines holidays. Uh, when the COVID comes, likewise in our other airline, uh, we canceled to give you know paper magazine. Instead of that one, uh, we have a press reader program. Uh, anybody is able to reach to our press reader on board from their smartphone or iPad. Uh, you can see a lot of different selection of magazines, newspapers around the world. Uh, exclusive drive is, uh, you can see in the also explanation below, uh, it's unique for some destinations. Uh, we are providing free drive uh, and the driver and the ride uh, for the business class passengers. Uh, there are link for there is a link for that one to reserve your driver and the shuttle and the car uh, and we're going to share all the information after the presentation we have also stopover project including canadian passengers who are traveling to canada or who are traveling from canada uh, for economy class passengers if they are willing to stay voluntary in istanbul more than 20 hours we are providing one night uh, economy uh, one night four star hotel and for the business class passengers we are providing two nights hotel in the uh, two nights stay in five star hotels if they want to stay voluntary and uh, they, they know they don't need to make any reservation i mean in the airport they must uh, you know we are providing the voucher uh, before their departure i mean we have special email link about that one we're going to share with you on behalf of your client, you're going to communicate with us, or the passenger can communicate directly with us for book the reservation, and we're going to send them the voucher. Recently, we created new brand, which is Turkish Airlines Holidays, and uh, it is 100% uh, merged with the Turkish Airlines, and uh, 
we are you know bringing service uh, for any hotel or any necessity of the vacation around the world of course we are getting the advantages of uh, being an airline partner uh, especially for the uh, you know uh, pricing advantages uh, we have awarded uh, business class on board catering it is worst worst best in business class uh, last seven years from Skytrax, uh, it is chosen, it is the best in the world. There is a flying chef on board in our business class and they are serving you your food. Uh, it gives another experience to our business class passengers. We have also Tour Istanbul uh, product. Uh, Istanbul is a kind of natural historical beauty. It's almost 3000 years old. If any passenger uh, has long layover from six hours to 12 hours generally. We have different departure times from Istanbul airport. During their connection time, they don't need to stay in airport. Uh, we have product just for Turkish Airlines connection passengers. English uh, guides are available. They just kind of stop in the hotel desk and the tourist Istanbul desk. They will show their boarding pass and they're going to get that to Istanbul. Uh, this is according to their wait time. I mean, we have four hour tours, we have eight hours tours, we have 12 hour tours, and the long tours almost include either breakfast or dinner, one course meal. This is for all for free. Normally in any European city, it costs around 100 euro to 150 euro per person. Turkish Airlines is providing that option for free to its connection passengers. You can see a small map of historical peninsula in Istanbul. And we can talk about stopover project in the slide more and more because it is so popular uh, product uh, for our passengers. Uh, if any passenger is traveling via Istanbul to another destination, instead of choosing the uh, first available flight, if they want to stay minimum 20 hours, that's true. Minimum 20 hours, economy plus passengers, they are entitled with one night in four star hotel. But if it is the business class passenger, it's going to be two nights in five star hotel. And any person, let's say they want to stay longer and longer, three days, four days, for additional 49 US dollar per night, which is a great price right now for Istanbul or any other European city. This is 100% we are recommending to our passengers. Uh, I try to, I try to, you know, uh, bring you a shorter uh, presentation. L let me discuss about. Uh, first, I will close my screen. Okay. Uh, let me let me brief about Turkish airline structure generally in Canada. We have three gateways in Canada. Uh, we started 13 years before flying out from Toronto. Then we added Montreal, and in the middle of COVID we added Vancouver in 2021. Currently, we are operating six times in a week outbound Toronto. So from Toronto to Istanbul, there are six flights in a week, uh, daily except Saturday. And it, when it comes to Montreal, we have three flights outbound Montreal and three flights outbound Vancouver every week. Uh, we have three offices uh, in Canada, which is Toronto, Vancouver, and Montreal. Also, we have three other offices in the station. So the service uh, to our agency start pre-booking. Uh, when any passenger decides to travel with Turkish Airlines, they are entitled with uh, at the booking site first before at the booking site. We are working with the IATA agencies on industry commission based, and uh, so when any passenger wants to travel with Turkish Airlines, they are all entitled with two two, two pieces free luggage. Uh, our concept, luggage concept, is uh, piece concept. Uh, two pieces free luggage, each one is 23 kilograms, plus their eight kilograms carry-on luggages. Uh, their onboard experience, as I said, from Montreal to Istanbul or Canada to Istanbul, uh, there are two times uh, main courses during their flight, and uh, free beverage and the light alcoholic beverages and the non-alcoholic beverages totally free. Uh, 
Also, they have a large uh, in-flight entertainment experience. I mean, my friends at the head office counted it. You know, if somebody wants to watch all the movies and somebody wants to listen to all the music, it takes around one and a half year. It is too long, so I promise you nobody is going to get bored uh, during their flight uh, experience. Uh, we are, you know, providing a flight kit for all of our passengers, economy and the business uh, class passengers, including the sleepers. So we are doing our best uh, to provide them a great experience during, during their flight. Additionally, uh, we have Wi-Fi on board. Uh, it's free for business class passengers and very small fee for economy class passengers. WhatsApp, FaceTime or iMessage, I mean, texting programs or free for every every passenger. And uh, also it's there is live TV on board. They are able to watch, you know, any news channel, global news channels, global sports channels. Uh, this is for every passenger too. So once they gonna reach Istanbul, Istanbul airport, one of the you know biggest airport and the busiest airport in the world, uh, almost 1,800 1, flight departs uh, from Istanbul airport daily basis. Uh, they can really enjoy air connection time, uh, even it's sometimes it's gonna be longer. Uh, this is another advantage of Turkish Airlines. Uh, to have a kind of a kind of airport uh, which supports its growth rate. Uh, this is generally our product. Uh, as I said, we have three offices here, and we are always, you know, uh, daily basis communication in communication with our agencies. Uh, different uh, different help desk lines. We have group support, agency support, or just direct to passenger will info. Yes, yeah, yeah, why, why is it info? We're gonna receive that info, we're gonna release that information just after the meeting. We're gonna send uh, what are the advantages of Turkish Airlines in the written format for your notes. Uh, this is generally that I want to discuss about Turkish Airlines. I don't want to take a lot of time, I want to just limit with 10 minutes. Uh, I would, uh, you know, it's better to continue with the question and answer. Uh, Jimmy currently. Uh, this is all what I want to tell them about your experience. Sounds good. Haki, thank you so much for the information. And uh, yeah, I'll take over from here. So now that you know a bit more about Turkish Airlines, it's my turn to tell you why you should consider booking Turkish Airlines specifically on Agencia Global. So let me just get my screen share going here. Now, hopefully you can all see my screen. Candice, is that the case? Sorry, yep, we, we can see it. Awesome, Alrighty. So booking on Agencia Global is as simple as booking a ticket on an online travel agency such as Expedia, Priceline, and so on. Um, it's a three-page process. Page one, you would search. Page two, you would go through the results. And page three, check out. Uh, everything is web-based with us, so no GDS knowledge is required. We handle all post-booking inquiries for you, uh, and I'll be sharing our contact information to show you exactly how you'd be reaching out to us as well. And um, it's, it's my pleasure to say that we are consistently successful in working with airline partners to secure exclusive bonus commission programs for you. So not only do we take pride in making sure that Agencia is a 100% free tool to work, uh, to use, excuse me, but we also make sure that we line your pockets as best as possible. So uh, Haki and Miriam were gracious enough to put together an exclusive bonus commission program for us that I'm about to share with, uh, uh, share with you. So when you log into Agencia, what you're looking at right here would be your homepage. So you'll sometimes see banners from airline partners that we're highlighting. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with us, we don't put up banners simply to you know, please airline partners and make sure their brand is visible to you. Uh, if you see an airline banner, we do encourage you to click on it because nine times out of 10, uh, you'll get a pop-up on the screen when you click on it that gives you the T's and C's on how to earn more money with that specific airline. So we'll use Turkish as an example right now. So. See here, we say click here to learn more about Turkish Airlines Bonus Commission Program. When you click on it, you'll get the details there. 
So between today and October 22nd on basically any round trip originating in Canada to any Turkish Airlines destination, not only will we forward you 100% of the time of ticketing commission that Turkish Airlines offers us, but you'll also be entitled to a bonus of $10 per round trip economy or $24 at uh, 25, excuse me, I'm not sure where I got 24 from, uh, $25 per premium and business class ticket uh, that you issue. So how do you earn that money? Let's go through that. So when you log in, this is your homepage. This is what you'll see. So again, you may or may not see an airline partner being highlighted here at the top. We uh, offer flights as well as car rentals, although flights are our specialty and represent easily 99% um, of our business. Right under that, you would see bookings requiring attention. So if anything's been flagged for a schedule change, a fraud check, uh, perhaps just a quote that you've saved that you want to reopen later, those reference numbers would be hyperlinked right over here. So you'd be able to click on them and open them right up. I'm in a demo account that my developers tend to play with. So you wouldn't see Agencia University on your end, um, but we are looking at resuscitating this for the beginning of 2024. Basically, this is where we would uh, consolidate all pertinent information from our airlines partner, airline partners, just to give you a quick look at what it used to look like. You would see your airline partners right over here. And when you click on their button, let's just take a random one, for example, there you go. You'd get whatever information the airline wants to share with you. So I know that uh, consolidators such as us tend to bombard you as agents with every single e-blast under the sun that we receive from airline partners. I want to make sure we're not a spammy type of consolidation partner to you. So rather than just constantly bombarding you with e-blasts, the information will all be there on Agencia University for you as of next year so that you can look up any information that you'd like to look up on an airline partner. And then right under that, you've got your Agencia Global News section right over here. Um, and then this is where any um, over and above or bonus commission uh, drop nets, anything to that effect would be highlighted. So you see today we're highlighting, obviously, that bonus commission with Turkish Airlines. So how would you earn that bonus commission? Let's go through it. So step one, you would just click on book flights, and that'll take you to our search page. Very easy to fill out. So you would just enter your OND and your PAX breakdown. So let's say, for example, we're going from Montreal to Istanbul. We'll go a couple of months out here. So let's say a nice little Sunday to Sunday trip. Let's say October 12th to 19th. Agencia will allow you to add up to nine passengers on one PNR. So this is where you provide your breakdown of adults, children, infants on lap and on seat. You could even isolate the cabin class in advance if you'd like, or filter for nonstop flights only, as well as search for your preferred airline. You could either spell out the airline name or pop in their airline code. Once you check them off, you'll only get results from that airline partner. Last thing I'll draw your attention to right over here, where you see USD and CAD. I would encourage you to click on or make sure that CAD is selected. Now, my demo account is set up as American. Otherwise, CAD would be selected for you by default. But this is a huge advantage for agents that we have based in Canada, uh, primarily in Southwestern Ontario and even in British Columbia. If you're in southwestern Ontario, you may or may not be making a lot of bookings uh, out of Detroit. If you're in the Vancouver area, you may be looking at Seattle. So at Agencia, we've actually secured time of ticketing and commission programs, both for point of sale Canada and U.S. So if, for example, you're in Vancouver, you're looking to make a Seattle booking, then by all means, click on USD. Not only will the fares be displayed in USD, but you'll also uh, be granted access to our time of ticketing commissions and net fares for point of sale U.S., so once you click on search, this will take maybe about 20 seconds or so, oh, looks like less actually, and it'll shoot you right over to the results page. So the top of the page just basically recaps the information we selected on the previous one. So we've got Montreal to Istanbul round trip for a week in November. We highlighted that we want pricing only from Turkish Airlines and four or five adults. If you've made an error, then please feel free to click on refine your search at which point it'll shoot you right back to the search page and you could readjust your search criteria as you see fit. Carrier matrix. Uh, now, obviously I selected only Turkish Airlines, but let's say you have multiple airlines. They would all be listed here from left to right in ascending order of price. And then the price for each one would be provided based on number of stops. The carrier matrix is there just to give you a very high level idea of where all airlines stand in terms of pricing. 
Um, but where more information would be, would be provided is in the available flight section below right here. So what we're looking at from left to right, whenever you see a little blue line next to the carrier, that means that branded fares are available. So in this case, Turkish does have branded fares. You'll then see your validating carrier, your fare type. So you'll note here, we've got commissionable published fares as well as net fares, your RBD, your price per packs, uh, which once you hover over it, will provide you with the breakdown of base fares, uh, the base fare and the taxes, excuse me. And then your grand total, which once again, when you hover over it, is going to give you that breakdown on a per pax basis. When you click on the little blue luggage icon right over here, you'll get another window that opens up. We're going to send you straight to the airline's website, uh, to the baggage portion of their website. There you go. So if you have any questions, rest assured that, whoops, wrong window here, sorry. Rest assured that you will be provided with the most up-to-date information by doing so. So we don't have anyone here at Agencia kind of going back and forth with the airlines, making sure that we have the most updated information. Now, when you click on view flights, that's where you'll see what itineraries are, are available to you. And you'll note that they are listed in ascending order of price going upwards. Uh, same thing for the net fares. If I were to click on view flights right over here, we also provide you with a flexible day matrix. So we'll add and subtract up to three days from both the outbound and the inbound dates. The price uh, for the date combination that you selected will always be highlighted in the, in the middle right here in gray. All other prices for other date combinations will be displayed. If they're displaying in white, that means that they're either at the exact same price or more expensive than the price for the date combination you selected. Anything that would be highlighted in green, which by dumb luck, I guess here, I happen to pick the best date combination. Uh, anything highlighted in green would be less expensive than the price for the date combination you selected. And you may or may not have noticed that when you hover over these prices, we'll highlight both the row and the column just to make it easier on the eyes for you. And take note of my mouse. It goes from a little arrow to a finger pointer. Every single price here is hyperlinked. So let's say, for example, your packs would prefer to extend their trip by two more days and leaving on November 10th, for example, you could simply click on this price right over here. It's going to rerun the search and bring you right back here to the results for the 10th, 10th to the 19th instead of the 12th to the 19th. You could also filter your results. Actually, before I do so, excuse me, let me just continue right down here. So you've got your itineraries in ascending order of price. Again, from left to right, what are we looking at? We've got our left our outbound options on the left, our inbound options on the right. You'll get your number of seats remaining, your flight number. In the case of a different operating carrier, you would see a little asterisk right next to the flight number. And then when you hover over it, a little pop-up would show you who's operating that. You've then got your RBD, your RBD, your segment OND, departure and arrival times, flight duration. And then if you click on the little blue eye over here, you'll get another pop-up that's gonna bring up the fare rule straight out of the GDS. So similar concept uh, to the one for the luggage link, we send you directly to the source. So if ever our airline partners update their fare rules, you would have the most up-to-date information on Agencia as well. When you click on both your outbound and your inbound flight, you'll note that the branded fares become available to you and a little commission calculator is going to kick in um, immediately to tell you how much you stand to make on this booking. So now this is the commission that you would earn for all five passengers. If, for example, you wanted to select the restricted fare, you'll, not, you'll notice here that the price adjusted accordingly as well. Oh, we could go right back to promotional now. And then you could also filter down your results. So I'll, I'll make this filtering very simple. Let's close this up. So take note here, we've got published fares, net fares, and a mix, uh, probably pub on the outbound and net on the inbound or right, vice versa. But let's say, for example, you only wanna work with net fares, or you want to eliminate flights that take off at a certain time of the day, or um, in the case where you've got multiple carriers and these two-stop itineraries are available, you could even use like a little sliding scale here to adjust the max flight duration round trip that you're interested in. Once you click on apply filters, there you go, the published fare disappeared, and now you only have your net fare and the mixed one since it also includes a net fare. And you could always just reset that. Whoops, I'm not sure what I did here. Apologies, let me just click on redo. Um, so at that point, you would basically select whether you want to use the published fare or the net fare. In, in the case of a net fare, we do allow you to apply markup. And that's one of the cool tools that I'm going to show you uh, shortly. So let's go to the net fare. 
we'll select that and book it. So we'll allow you to apply markup. Now, as most of you know already, um, the vast majority of airline partners allow for up to a 25% markup on their net fares. Agencia is the only consolidation partner, to my knowledge, that you could work with uh, in North America who will allow you to apply unlimited markup to your PNRs without having to use a separate merchant account and divulging exactly how much you put in your pocket. So once we click on book, it brings us to the checkout page. As I mentioned earlier, it's just a three-page process. We're already on page three of three. Now, again, I'm in a demo account, so you wouldn't see this autofill button on your end. What it's doing is just filling out the form with some fake passenger info, so I don't bore you as I fill out the forms. You've got a recap of your itinerary here. Outbound and inbound segments are separated by blue highlighting. In the case of connecting flights, you'll see green highlighting separating those two. You've now got your aircraft as well. Um, now that the fare is selected, if you hover over the little blue luggage icon, it'll tell you how many pieces of luggage are included. If you forgot to click on it on the previous page and you have any questions re regarding uh, Turkish Airlines baggage policy, as you've probably noticed, my mouse just turned into a little finger pointer again. This is hyperlinked, as was the case on the previous page, so you could always click on it here and it'll send you back to Turkish Airlines website. You then fill out your form with your PAX info, which is why I clicked that button at the top, so I don't bore you while I fill that out. In the case that you don't have an insurance provider, we'll, we'll offer you the ability to sell insurance with your booking. So we've partnered up in, with Manulife to offer a few different levels of protection. So let's say, for example, you wanted to offer the global all-inclusive travel protection. Once you click on that, it'll outline exactly what's included in that coverage. You'll get the total cost for all packs, tax included, your Commission payout, which is very aggressive, uh, upwards of 40%. And just to make the selling easier on you, we're providing you automatically with the average daily price per pack. So $1,300 could sound like an intimidating number, but you could also present it as $32 per person per day, for example. Now, let's just remove that so we could focus on the airfare specifically. Your price breakdown section, this is where you would see how much commission you stand to make. Now, obviously, it's at zero because I selected uh, net, fares on the previous page, uh, net fare on the previous page. But you'll notice here the markup is still at zero, so I'll show you how to apply that. And then to the left of that, you see the charges on the customer's credit card. So right now, the entirety of the transaction, obviously, since Turkish Airlines accepts credit card as form of payment, is going on their merchant account. Now, you've got your breakdown of the price right here on a per pax basis. All this same since I just happened to select five passengers. Base fares, taxes, if you want to get a breakdown of the taxes, feel free to hover over the little question mark and you'll get a pop-up giving you that info. Your subtotal, markup, service fee, and total. Right now, these stand at zero, but we'll get into that. Now, if you want to mark up your ticket, all you got to do is hover over the little question mark right over here, and it'll give you two bits of information. Number one, how much does Turkish allow for? Number two, how much does Agencia allow for? So they seem kind of arbitrary, but that 1380 you're seeing from Turkish is 25% of this 5520 right over here. And then I said unlimited markup. Basically, the default rule we set in Agencia is up to double uh, the base fare. So that $11,040 is double that 5520 that's highlighted right over there. On a case-by-case -case basis, if you do, do need to apply more markup, reach out to us. It's a 30-second correction on our end, um, but we've never had anyone reach out to us saying they wanted to apply even more. Um, but in the case that it does happen with you, then please feel free to contact us and we'll take care of that for you. So let's say, for example, now you wanted to add the max allowable markup. So we'll enter that 1380 right over here. You'll note now that the markup got broken down evenly amongst all packs for a total of 1,380. Your grand total adjusted accordingly. The charges still appear on Turkish Airlines merchant accounts since it's within the allowance um, that they provided to us. And now the agency payout section has been adjusted accordingly. So now you see you stand to make your $1,380 uh, markup. Now, when we run webinars such as these, um, I tend to ask agents who are attending, and I'll you know open the floor to all of you as well, although I see that Q&A is already really lively, so big fan of that. Thank you. Um, we're open not only to feedback on what you think of the tool that we're showing you, what you think of the presentation, but we'd also love to hear from you as travel consultants on what exactly you're facing as headaches in your day-to-day -day that your current uh, consolidation partner has not solved for you. So by doing these webinars and gathering that feedback, we made two major adjustments to Agencia 
simply based on that feedback. We had no idea that these um, changes would deliver any value to agents until uh, we were told they would. So the two big things we were told was, number one, uh, some agents tend to make less on a booking than they believe they can simply because it goes over and above the markup allowance um, per the airline's policy. And number two, they would prefer to not have to book multiple PNRs for people who are all traveling together on the same flight simply because they all want to use their respective credit cards. So we brought a fix to both for that. So first and foremost, let's say you want to add a higher service fee, uh, either because you're offering a white glove service and your customers could call you at 3.30 a.m. directly on your cell phone if they have any issues, or because you're using agency as a global billing system and you know, for example, maybe you want to build them for the hotel here. We could take this markup of 1380 and let's say we're marking it up by a total of $600 per pack. So we could take our $3,000 markup right over here. You'll note that the markup breaks up, breaks up evenly amongst all packs, but then there's a service fee added. Reason for that is, I'll draw your attention right back here to the charges uh, section. We've already maxed out what Turkish Airlines will allow for it. Therefore, the difference has to go on our merchant account. And now this is what you're dealing with already on a day-to-day -day basis, be it with Agencia or with any other consolidator on the market. But what we've done is allow you to force the entirety of the transaction onto our merchant account. So it does make the booking a bit more expensive, at which point, you know, it's up to you to decide whether you think you could sell for a bit more, or maybe that would have to come out of the markup. But how would you do that? Pricing strategy right over here, lowest price is always the, uh, selected by default. So what we mean by that is, if you want to add a $3,000 markup, the lowest price you can offer is this 11353.78 right over here, but you would have two separate credit card charges. Now, if you were to select single charge, the price will probably go up to about 11.6, I believe, 11.658. There you go. Reason for that is we're now pushing the entirety of the transaction onto our merchant account. So rather than getting the third degree over what that second charge was and, you know, how much did the hotel cost? I found a cheaper deal on booking.com. Why don't you cancel that? I just want the airfare and so on. You can provide a global price. Now, if, you know, you were looking at closing the deal at 11,003, then, you know, by all means, you could adjust your markup to 2,700. You're back in that 11,003 territory. It's all still on one merchant account, one transaction, and no third degree to answer to once you're done. Now, the reason I selected five passengers for the booking is because I also wanted to show you how our multiple credit card tool works. So if you're working with anyone else, let's say you know, you've got these five people in your agency right now, they love the price, you finally agreed, it's all gonna go on one single charge or one merchant account, excuse me, so your markup is hidden. But unfortunately, these five friends here at this point each pull their respective credit cards out of their pockets, and you're faced with the unfortunate reality that you've got to go all the way back to the beginning and do this five times over since they each want to use their own card, unless you're working with Agencia. So when you move down to the payment section, single payment is selected by default. If one person is paying for everyone, then great. Enter their credit card info over here. For all those taking screenshots right now, I could assure you this credit card number won't work anywhere, so don't waste your time. Uh, you click on agree to the terms and conditions, book and pay, and you're done. If everybody wants to use their card, you would click on multiple payment, at which point you get a drop down menu pop up right over here that will allow you to select as many credit cards as there are passengers. When you go back to the payment section, you'll get an error message telling you that you need to assign customers to their credit cards. So how do we do that? This is why I clicked autofill at the top. It created these five fake passengers. We've got these five card slots. It's a very simple drag and drop system. Once you grab everyone and put them to their respective cards for the exact same price, minus two packs here that get a one cent discount, I guess. You've got your five cards right over here. So you've got Vivian on, on card one, at which point, for example, you would put Liam on card two, Roman on card three and so on. And you'll see as I flip through it, the names are changing as well. So you don't have to use one card per pack. So let's say this is two couples traveling together. Once uh, one, of which, uh, one of them has a child traveling with them, then great. Select two cards, grab one person, bring them over here. Card one will be charged for three packs. Card two will be charged for the other two packs. And now you're down to two credit card tabs. So feel free to use this. Uh, this tool wouldn't exist if not for feedback from agents such as yourselves. So if there are any other headaches aside from 
the one stemming from surpassing the airline's maximum uh, markup allowance or the headache of having to make multiple bookings for people who are all traveling together because they want to use their own card. I'd love to hear from you. Please put it in the chat, put it in the Q&A. Uh, we always take note of this. We're always open to evolving. And um, who knows, maybe we could bring something to the table that would make your, your life easier as a, as a travel consultant. Now, I won't actually make the booking since we've got some fake credit card info here and I don't want to trigger any fraud algorithms. But once you click on book and pay, that's where you'll be presented with the confirmation page, at which point you'll be provided with the PNR, the nine digit Agencia Global confirmation number, and a personalized itinerary and invoice, both of which you could either print out, uh, they're, they're available in PDF format, so you could print them or download them and send them to your customers by email if you so choose. And the tickets themselves will be received within one to two hours by email. So we're not at the point that we're auto ticketing just yet, but it is pretty quick. So no worries about, you know, fare increases overnight or anything to that effect. If you're booking within regular business hours, uh, barring any sort of, you know, fraud algorithm being triggered, you can expect your tickets to be issued um, same day. So... On that note, hopefully you liked what you saw as far as the booking process is concerned. Now, I did mention in the beginning of the call for anyone who may have joined a couple of minutes late, that in order to qualify for the raffle, you not only have to attend the presentation in its entirety, but we ask that you register for an account on Agencia Global, as well as make at least one Turkish Airlines booking between today and October 22nd. Um, if you'd like to register, it's free. Just go to www.agenciaglobal.com. This little register button will pop up for you. We're going to ask you for some base info. So business name, agency email. We do ask you to provide one form of accreditation from this drop-down menu. Your contact information and then the name of the master agent of the account. So every account could hold up to 250 agents, uh, be it master or regular agents. The master agents can see everyone's bookings, can modify the agency information, can uh, look through commission statements and can add regular agents under them. The regular agents can simply make bookings and view their booking history. So that would be up to you. Generally, the master agent will be an agency owner, director, perhaps HR, accounting, and so on. So again, to recap, please make sure to register. Please make sure to make a booking on Turkish, uh, on Agencia Global for Turkish Airlines between now and October 22nd, and you will be entered in that raffle for the $500 Amazon gift card. And the winner will be announced in the week of October 23rd, once we've had the opportunity to provide everyone with a chance to make that booking. So on that note, thank you again very much to everyone uh, for taking the time to listen in. Candice, I'll hand it right over to you for the Q&A, which I believe is probably the liveliest I've ever had with you. So great yes. to see you. Yes, absolutely. It is great to see. We have lots of enthusiasm here and lots of questions. Um, what I was thinking, Jimmy, is I'm going to um, ask some questions um, that our agents have had and that I've had about Turkish Airlines. While I'm doing that, perhaps sure. there's a few Agencia questions you could just type the answer to. Um, sure. And then we can answer as many questions as possible in the time that we have. Um, I want to start by saying we also had so many participants today just um, giving great feedback and saying um, how much their clients enjoy flying with Turkish Airlines and they're really happy to support this airline. So um, that is amazing to hear too. And um, I'm going to begin with um, a set of questions. There was a lot of um, chat in the Q&A specifically about um, Turkish Airlines stopover program. So um, Haki, I wanted to ask again, what is the stopover project that you are offering? And also, can you highlight what the blackout dates of the stopover program are, if there are any, and what is the maximum stay um, in Istanbul for the free stopover? Um, and can this cost be extended? Could you answer those for us to begin? For sure, Candice. Great question. And thank, thank you. Thank you. And firstly, I want to start from there is no blackout date for stopover project. The passengers can get the, you know, staying in Istanbul advantage for 365 days. There is no problem anytime. Stopover project is a kind of, I mean, uh, Istanbul, you know, it's right now maybe one of the biggest uh, connect, connecting hub in the world. So we want to just provide our passengers 
uh, while they are traveling to enjoy another world city, which is Istanbul, and for free or for advantages. Uh, it just started before the COVID, but as you guess, I mean, during the COVID, everything stopped. And then just after COVID, we restarted the project and we started to promote it. I mean, what is that project? Uh, what we are doing normally, normally, I mean, if any passenger while traveling with Turkish Airlines via Istanbul, uh, if they have some, you know, generally it's three hours, four hours, or maximum nine to 10 hours, they have connect, connecting flight. What we propose to the clients and the passengers, don't take that flight, don't take the first flight, just stay in Istanbul minimum, minimum 20 hours, and I will give you, I will provide you the pre accommodation. It's a kind of just introducing all the passengers with the Istanbul. There is a win and win situation. I mean, Istanbul works, Istanbul wins here because they are accommodating great passengers from around the world. And it's a win situation for the passenger while they are traveling, they have a chance to visit another world city. So while they're gonna choose when they are issuing their ticket or their agencies are issuing ticket, if they're gonna choose another flight, I mean, voluntary, I mean, minimum 20 hours connecting time, it's a must mandatory in Istanbul. They are, when they are booking that first day book the ticket, then we have a, in Canada, we have email line, free stopover, free hotel at THY, the free hotel Canada at THY.com. We're gonna send that address. They're gonna share their you know ticket numbers or the PNR with that email address. My uh, client wants to stay in Istanbul, then we are sending their hotel voucher. There are lots of questions also. It was written. I want to respond a little bit uh, some of them. Uh, mm -hmm. there, there was a question. I mean, what I saw, uh, can you please give us some uh, name of the hotel? I mean, there are lots of hotels in uh, the community of the project. Haki, I think we lost you there, just, just in case it's not uh, no, only on my end. Yeah. yeah, I was just about to Sorry. mention. Sorry, I, I was I was telling, uh, I received here uh, on the question part, there are lots of questions about the free stop over project. One of the questions was, which hotels I mean, uh, in that project, in that project, mm -hmm. there are yep. lots of hotels in Istanbul. Uh, they are they are joining that project. Just I mentioned two three names for the four star economy hotels. Generally, it is around the historical peninsula in Istanbul, which is Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque site. I can say Mercure Hotel or Grandiose, and they ask for five star hotels. It's all Sheraton hotels and the Polat Renaissance hotels. So they are all chain hotels which is really uh, great to stay. And also there is another question comes up. I mean, $49 per night additional. Which hotels? I mean, this is for four star economy hotels. It is for starting from $49 US dollar per, per night in the four star hotels. And uh, when it comes to business class, it is starting as less as 99 US dollars, which is uh, impossible. Uh, to book a hotel in Istanbul. Uh, it's very easy. A passenger is booking their hotel, their flight ticket. They're gonna give minimum 20 hours in Istanbul. They will communicate with us via free hotel, uh, free hotel Canada at thy.com. Then we will be sending the voucher. Uh, and this program includes many places. Awesome. Thank you for that answer, Haki. Um, again, we had some agents asking, and so I'm asking this um, just to clarify again, are all Turkish Airlines destinations eligible for the free stopper over? And if not, which destinations are excluded? Yeah, all, almost, almost. I mean, at the beginning of my presentation, I mentioned it's our motto. I mean, we are flying more countries than any other airline. It's 118 countries. It's the giant network. And wow. up to 100 countries, I mean, up to 100 countries is eligible for that stopover project. I mean, I, I want to tell you, let me count, but it looks like we're going to count till four o'clock Montreal time. <laughs> you know, examples here, uh, Angola, Bulgaria, Cameroon, Kyrgyzstan, Nepal, Romania, Rwanda, Tanzania, Vietnam, uh, those 9, 10 countries, 
just out of almost 100 countries. And uh, I want to add, I mean, because I saw also another question, unfortunately, uh, direct uh, passengers who are traveling to Turkey, Turkey passengers are not eligible for that stop over forty. I mean, if they are traveling somewhere in Turkey, uh, it's not eligible for those passengers. But other than other than that one, if they, if they are traveling beyond Turkey, almost ninety percent of our network eligible for that program. For more information and the exact information, we have. Uh, if you're gonna Google or if you're gonna uh, click to the link that we're gonna share after the meeting, uh, there is a website uh, stopover opportunity in Istanbul. Uh, it's related to Turkish Airlines website. Uh, our friends, agents, uh, they can find more information on that website. Okay, thank you for that. Um, answer. We had um, Rick was asking uh, one of our participants today if Turkish Airlines has a website uh, like a travel agent portal website where travel agents can book flights. Uh, he's he's wondering about that. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much uh, for extending me that question. Also, I read this is one of the questions that I want to respond. Uh, in Canada, we are working with IADA agencies and IADA consolidators. So through BSP. So we don't have specific uh, specific uh, portal uh, that uh, providing commission or any other things to the agencies. Any other agency uh, are able to apply us for the ticketing authorization. If they are not IATA, if they are non IATA, they should be working with us via the consolidators. Okay, thank you, Heki. So in other words, also book your Turkish airline flights with Agencia, especially right now, because you are going to be eligible for the $500 gift card as you are staying to the end of this webinar today. Mm -hmm. So that gives you even more incentive there to book with Agencia. Um, Okay, I had another question um, an agent was asking, is Turkish Airlines planning to open a comfort class or premium economy class for long haul flights, specifically from US to Istanbul? Yeah, thank you very much for the question. I mean, years and years before we used to have comfort class, uh, but uh, it was it was canceled. I, I mean, uh, it didn't fit with Turkish Airlines growth strategy. And right now, currently, we have just on the economy class and the business class cabins. In the future, there is no concrete plan yet. But in the future, I cannot say you know. But currently, there is no plan to have premium or comfort class again. Uh, right now, we have only economy and the business class. OK, thank you so much. Um... All right, another um, attendee was asking if the Istanbul tour is available for economy class passengers. This was a question that was asked near the beginning. Thank you very much again, because, you know, while Jimmy was presenting the product, I was uh, reading the questions. I'm scared not to respond to any questions. Thank you very much for reminding me. Tour Istanbul program is available for all passengers, economy class passengers and the business class passengers. Let me give a very little detail about that one. If they have a short connection, I mean, not two, three hours. If they have six hours, seven hours, eight hours connection, we have also, there is a page on Turkish Airlines website, turkishairlines.com to Istanbul. They're going to see what is the daily schedule, what time the tour is departing from Istanbul airport. Then according to their connecting time, they can grab any tour and they can apply to our tour Istanbul desk and they can get their tour. It is for every passenger, not only economy and the business class. By the way, with this one, just I want to add, if somebody has minimum economy class passengers, has minimum 12 hours involuntary connection or the business class passengers, nine hours involuntary uh, connection in Istanbul airport, Instead of getting to Istanbul, they are entitled with free hotel too. It is other than stopover project. It is other than stopover project. They just need to, if they have 12 hours connection, I'm talking about the economic class passengers, they will just apply to Turkish Airlines hotel desk. This is my boarding pass for any passenger. And they're going to see, yes, 12 hours connection. They are providing 
free hotel stay to those eligible passengers. Kindly note that for stopover project for Tour Istanbul or for free hotel stay, the Canadian passport holders need visa. It was another question uh, in the question part. They need visa. Turkey, the Turkish government, uh, you know, uh, it's eligible for e-visa and any Canadian passport holder, they can get their multiple visa uh, within 10 minutes. This is the government site. It is apart from the Turkish Airlines service. Okay, thank you so much again, Haki, for that um, question. We had so many questions today. Thank you, agents. I just want to mention that um, if you have any questions that we didn't answer today, I will be providing contact information so you can get in touch with Haki and Miriam after this uh, webinar is over and Jimmy as well. I think we can uh, finish with this question today. I know um, uh, here it is. So um, is there a support process that um, Turkish airline provides an agencia uh, or and or agencia can provide for flights that are booked and when there's cancellations over a weekend? Uh, yes, so I, I noticed the question in the Q&A only after I uh, finished my presentation. So I'm really sorry about that. I'm sharing my screen again. If you scroll to the bottom here and click on contact us, um, you could fill out a form to contact us. Otherwise, our email is here, our phone number is here. I know that one attendee was saying it's super important to have weekend and overnight support. Um, you know, the new reality of the market we're working in doesn't allow for that right now. So here are our hours of operation <clears throat> for both phone as well as the live chat. The live chat is right over here. Okay, great. Thank you so much. And um, travel agents, I would just like to say before we close out this show, again, if you have any further questions, please feel free to um, get in touch with Haki or Miriam. We are going to be sending out um, contact information and uh, you know the prize info as well. I want to say a very, very big thank you to all our participants today. Haki, Mariam, would you have anything that you would like to add um, before we close out? Yes, uh, Candice, uh, I have very really small. I mean, uh, because I saw two questions, and also I want to thank the Jimmy and Agencia with Travel Week just before closing. I saw what are the kids, I mean, immunity kids for on board. Uh, it's started slippers, I mean, headphones, socks, all of them for economy and the business class passengers. There is no difference. And there is a question about Star Alliance. Turkish Airlines is a member of Star Alliance. Uh, we have a frequent flyer program, Turkish Airlines Miles and Smiles, but aeroplan holders in general in Canada, uh, they don't need to hesitate because while they are traveling with Turkish Airlines, they are getting the points to their airplane because we are a Star Alliance member. And uh, I'm so sorry, I do apologize if there is question that I didn't respond today. And uh, at the end, I can, you know, I want to extend my appreciation to Agency Global. They are, you know, they are my best uh, client, best business partner in Canada. Thanks to Jimmy to my, by himself. I mean, he gave me, he brought me that opportunity to meet with great people, great travel associates in Canada. And uh, about service, I mean, they provided their service standards, but I can say we and the travel agency, Turkish and the travel agency, all the weekends, day and night, uh, very slow communication. Anybody has problem, they are reaching to Agency Global and Agency Global is reaching to us. Easily we are fixing the issues. And the last question, thank you very much. Uh, and I'd also like to thank you, Haki. Thank you, thank you very much uh, for taking the time today. Uh, yes, our partnership is incredible. Definitely one of my favorite airline partners to work with here in Canada. I look forward to our continued success. And that continued success is not possible without people like everyone who took time out of their day to be with us. So on that note, I'd like to thank you all once again, at the risk of sounding like a broken record. I look forward to working with all of you. And for those who didn't notice on the support page, if you'd like to learn more about the booking process on Agencia, I know this was an abbreviated presentation. Please feel free to reach out to us at contact at agenciaglobal.com. Thanks, everyone.
Thank you so much, Jimmy. Thank you to our travel agent participants. Have a wonderful afternoon, evening, and we will see you again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Haki. Thanks, Miriam. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.